Hey guys, Clumsy here and welcome back to Derail Valley. Thanks for the comments in the last episode and thank you for joining the giveaway I just drew the winner a few minutes ago. Congratulations to Plum. His Facebook entry won, entry number 106. I think we had a total of around 213 users who joined the giveaway, totaling around 1,282 entries. And Plum's Facebook entry was the one who won. So congrats, Plum. Enjoy the game. And uh, let me know about it. He is part of the Discord server. So looking forward to how he finds the game himself. All right. So um, in this job, we are starting from the sawmill, which is where we ended the last episode with the steam train, if you guys remember that. And we are going all the way to the goods factory, which is over there. Now the time bonus here is 61 minutes, if you see that right there. And it's only 301 tons, fairly short train, so nothing fancy, but it is quite a long trip and I wanted to take you guys on a long trip on the steam train. So let's go and uh, start the timer here. Still a bit weirded out with this stopwatch. Doesn't always happen. There we go. I have to like exit and uh, enter it at some point. So that's 60. That's 61. Okay. Let's start the timer now. And let's go ahead and feed this into the job validator. Let's start it up. Uh-huh. C1 outbound. Track C1 outbound. That should be this one. Exactly. And uh, hold it to the goods factory. D5 inbound. We'll worry about that later. Looking good. But uh, where are we facing? Ah, I'm actually facing the wrong way. Well, not really the wrong way. I guess this will work. So our path will lead us through here. Just follow the mouse the dot in the middle past near city southwest head on east passing through oil well central the farm and steel mill going through here and then going straight through to the goods factory yeah fairly straightforward let's do this brakes are released water level is good that might be actually a bit too high that's okay, we'll make it work. Let's go and load up on coal here. That might be a bit too much, but we'll see. Also, I'll leave the music running in the background just so we have a bit of uh, filling of the dead air, so to speak. Right? So, we'll cut off full forward. Push on the regulator a bit. Let's... go once we got moving release that push a bit more in here that's the sound I'm looking for music to my ears and yes the cargo is attached looking pretty good let's coast along here a little I've been playing more Train Sim World recently thanks to this game. Starting to enjoy trains. And uh, it's nice, but it's not as immersive as this game. It might be more realistic in terms of the actual controls, how the details of the train looks, but I mean, the immersion this game brings, the Real Valley, is on a whole different level. Like, no need for any overlay whatsoever. Really have to rely on your own instincts. Can't even see if uh, something is uphill or not, or how how steep a grade is. Just have to do it yourself. You just get a little bit of guidance from the signs, which is not saying a lot, seeing how the signs are very inaccurate at times. Okay, coast here. We don't want to go beyond 30 so much. Awesome. And if you guys don't know how to operate the steam train and don't uh, understand what the heck I'm doing, um, 
I do have a few episodes in the back of the series which guide you a bit more on that, a bit more step by step. Now we are really trying to speed it up and uh, do more stuff at the same time so it might be a bit more confusing. I'm no expert though but uh, I can drive this, this train just a bit, get from one place to the other but not that much of an expert yet so I'm still learning. I think I'd want to slow down though because I see a lot of bumps ahead. Yeah, exactly. 40 kilometers up ahead. Slow down here. And let's slow down. Bit by bit. Just coast along. 60. Downhill. Yikes. Okay, let's leave the brakes there. One notch of train brakes, just so we have a more, uh, how do you say, more guided, controlled descent in a way. Although it doesn't seem like it's that steep, so I guess we could actually push a bit more here. And yes, I'm waiting, wasting a couple of, uh, wasting a bit of water there, turning that into steam, going above 18 bars, and then the safety valve is triggering. So it's releasing the steam because I have too much of it. So that is unused steam. It's a waste. Should have not, should have not loaded that much. That much coal at least. That is beautiful. My speed limits up ahead. That's fine. Oh, this is nice. Let's take a photo here. How do you guys take photos in this game for those of you who play? It's me, I, I do it this manually like this. I just I know there's like a a free cam where you can actually fly. But I find that very time consuming. You have to type so many things. Oh crap. Rather not to be on the safe side. There we go, stick to 40. Better safe than sorry. And then 30 there, wow. There we go, that's 30. Maybe not too much, huh? I think I. Bit a bit more than I can chew there. The balance that this train makes you do with the brakes, with the regulator here, the steam levels, the coal, and everything, all those mix ups make this train so much. Uh, what is that sound? Did I derail? shouldn't not violating any speed limits okay so maybe give one notch of brakes there anything bad coming up no that's actually good 60 up ahead but yeah this train is so hands-on normally there would be at least two people operating this train I guess but I mean this is a simplified version of the steam train so it, it can actually be driven by one person only so it's i think it's a good compromise what they did the game balancing that went into place here very smart coast along that's city southwest we're passing through beautiful so yeah i would want to get familiar with the with the uh, free cam option but I'm not a bit scared to fly around while the train here is like hanging off the edge of a cliff if you know what I mean like <laughs> at any point we can go too slow or too fast miss a turn miss some speed limits and whatnot so it's, it's a bit crazy and because of all the things I have to do 
speaking, balancing the train, and everything. I, I hardly even recognize, hardly even notice the uh, the lag. Because there is lag, there is there are stutters. Whenever an, an, an area loads, the game stutters. 30 here, looks good. But yeah, because of how busy I am, I don't even recognize that anymore. Uh, uh, okay, something is coming up ahead. Have to be very wary of it, because I'm sure that's going the wrong way. Well, not really sure, sure, but I have a feeling. We're on the right side of the train though, we can see, we should be able to see the signal coming up ahead. Oh crap, no. Okay, it's turning again. Uh, speed is okay though, 30. Let's take it slow. There it is. If that's the one, uh, that's the one. That is actually turning right, right? I think so. Stay here. 30, yeah, that is going right. Good. And 30, we are well within the speed. Good. Chug along. Awesome. Take it slow. That's fine. We will get back up to speed later. Let's load up here. Load up on coal. Alright. It's looking pretty good. Maybe load one more. Okay. Step on it. Oh, why did I have brakes there? That's bad. <clears throat> Balancing. It was like I was fighting my brakes there a bit. That explains why I was going so slow. So always check your brakes if you missed any one of them. Left them on a level where they shouldn't be. Another junction. Is there? Oh yeah, this time we have to go left keep left which is okay I think that should be where we are at anyway we haven't really been able to speed up yet huh way past 50 or 60 I hope we get a chance later on so that we can let this train go right now we are really limiting what it can do but it's all part of the balance Let's coast here because I'm not sure this should be by default switching to the left there it is 30 though so i think a bit of brakes would help that's perfect let's let it go coast along and we should be fine there 30 here Pretty good Push it. One more load of coal would help. Looking good, guys. Let's keep at it. And then hopefully the switches at the farm, oil well central, are properly set up. So we go through the, how do you call it, bypass track. I would call it unofficially. That track that doesn't have any cars in there and is used for passing by the station. No brakes. Push it. Let go a bit. 50. Okay, go steer. It's coming up ahead, guys. Water level is... Uh, I can't see from here. Let's worry about that later. That is not the number one priority. I can't see what's that one. I think it's 60 up ahead. Water level is good. Around three-fourths of the way. Alright. So, should be good. But we have to be very wary of the signals. Or switches. I'm still not very familiar with the terminology. I keep mixing them up. Switches along the way. If they are set 
to the right direction. I can go up ahead and check. Although it ruins a bit of the immersion, doesn't it? Like, it's more functional, it makes more sense, but it's not as realistic jumping out of the train and teleporting all around. So I'm, I'll try to stay here. And also I'm feeling lazy. <laughs> so <laughs> let's keep at it this way. Now I'm not sure which direction we should be headed, but I'm going to choose that one with the fast speed. Because if we go left, it says we can go up to 90 kilometers per hour. So I guess that would be the quote-unquote bypass track. That looks good. We are turning right here so we are not getting led into the turntable. So that's this one. Good. Looks like we're out of coal but that's no problem. There it is. Train starting to really let go. Just a bit, just a bit. Keep right there. That's perfect. Oh, this is beautiful. I can't quite place it, but you know, playing this versus play playing Train Sim World, it's it's so much more immersive this one. Maybe it's because of so many controls. Maybe I just need to find the right train for me. Maybe Train Sim World just doesn't have that level of immersion yet. But maybe Train Sim does. Who knows, we'll see. But suffice it to say, this game, The Real Valley, is my gateway onto Train Sim. Made me interested again. 50 here. Let's go down a little. Okay, if we go left, we can go up to 80, so I actually don't need to slow down. That's good. How are we doing on time? Pocket watch says... Am I reading that correctly? Did I set it up correctly? Huh. I'm not sure if I did. Maybe I set it up wrong, huh? Alright, anyway, we'll see later. Because I don't think that's set up correctly. Maybe I set it up too much. Anyway, alright, so here we should be good. Passing through here in the middle. Good. No brakes. Can speed up on it. This train doesn't even have bells modeled in, I guess. When they use the bells as opposed to the horn. Because what I usually saw is people would turn on the bells when they're passing through a station or something. Is that when you use it? As I mentioned, not really familiar with these things. But starting to learn from them bit by bit. Good. Right. Another junction coming up ahead. This time we have to stay to the left. So keep our eyes peeled for signs. There's the junction. 40 kilometers per hour here. We are going left based on what that says. So I think we can step on this a bit. Or push on this, I should say. That looks pretty good, actually. Man, that is beautiful. Beautiful scenery. 50. Yeah, that should be okay. We are pushing it beyond. Well, close to the limits. Looks good, I think we keep the speed. I don't have any coal anymore. I think it's time we load just one here. Keep the fire burning and refill our pressure. Oh, this is a bit graded. A bit steep here, so we'll lose a bit of speed. So I think we need to push it a bit.
just so we maintain around 40 kilometers, 40 to 50. Alright. You know what? No, let's keep that a bit there. Okay, slow down. So I don't see what's up ahead. Blind spot. Okay, uh, let's see. Turn right, turn left. That should land us right in the middle where we exactly want to be. Yes, exactly. Okay, looks good. That means we can push it. And maybe load one more as we are starting to lose steam pressure here. It's so amazing. I started reading up while watching different YouTube videos on how steam engines work. How steam cranes work and all of the science behind it. It's just imagining how people came up with these brilliant inventions is like wow, you know, the the brilliance of the human mind. Different level. And that was way, way back. So the inventions nowadays versus the inventions back then, they are worlds apart. But even these uh, how do you say ancient breakthroughs these are really I think the concepts behind it they seem very simple but everything combined they just I don't know it's just so amazing learning about these things wonder why I didn't learn about them when I was in school maybe I wasn't listening very well maybe I just forgot but now get inside a train actually this is the best way to learn instead of your teacher just telling you oh this is how steam works this is how steam engine works and stuff like that instead get you inside a steam train get you curious enough to try and understand how things work oh my goodness that's the way to go 80 kilometers here should be fine just let the uh, uh, descent take care of the speed it might actually be too fast ah very nice All right basically just coasting at this point but looks like we are finally able to pick up some speed straight stretch of the road why is my time all going the opposite now is there an option for this stopwatch to go the opposite way okay then maybe i can guess i can count from there if we started at one one so maybe i've been traveling for around 20 minutes now 21 minutes let's do it that way i didn't know you could do it the other direction I thought this was like a timer, which counts backwards. Might have to look into that pocket watch again, that feature. Okay, no brakes, just coasting. Ah, beautiful. Let's refill that water just until that point. And enjoy the journey. This is the straight stretch of road, so let's go and push it. Let's go ahead and set the regulator as far in the middle as possible. That's the highest gear. Speaking in uh, car terms, that means that's as fast as we can go. Man, that's beautiful. Going at 80 kilometers per hour now. Speed limit says we can go up to 120. Let's push it. Even for just a little stretch of road, even if it's not entirely practical, it is fun. Oh my goodness, that speed! More speed! 90 kilometers per hour now. Okay, I'm scared. Let go of it. Because now we'll have to balance and Brake properly. Oh my goodness, that's 60 up there. 
Please no. I might have to pay for this, guys. Okay, coming close to 60. We are coming pretty close to 60. Okay, we should be safe, I think. Let go of the brakes. Alright, shoo! Okay, goods factory. Uh, let's double check the job. Goods factory D5I, Delta 5 inbound. Let's go and look at this one. Goods factory, we are coming from the west, from the southwest. So, Delta 5 inbound. We have to go all along the entire way around, starting from the southwest. Okay, that's a bit tricky, but we'll find a way. Through. Okay, let's go and put that somewhere in the middle. So we can balance the speed and the torque and maybe get a bit of coal in here. We are starting to lose a bit of pressure. What's up ahead? Uh, nothing really. It's a bend but shouldn't be that dangerous. Okay, let's coast along here just so we see what's up ahead in time <clears throat> it is 80 but there is a junction coming up and we should be keeping to the left there I don't think we'll need to slow down that dramatically seeing that junction is just like a straight road with a junction in the middle but just to be sure Alright, that looks good. Speed limit, it says 50 here with the junction, but after the junction we can go up to 120 if we're keeping to the left it says. So let's keep to 50, maybe let's push it just a little. Maybe let's load one more here as we are losing a bit of pressure. Load that up with water. Now we can push it again. Did I just miss my turn, guys? Yes, I did, huh? Yeah, I'm so used to... I'm so used to going to the city. You might have been scratching your head there. Oh no, actually, this is right. This is right. We have to move right here. That goes to the goods factory. That was lucky. That was not my intention at all. Alright. Just coast along here. Because there were actually two junctions. Oh no, 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 this is wrong. <laughs> ah, yeah. Okay, let's break here. Because this is actually going to the oil well. This is going to the oil well already. The first junction is where we should, we should have stayed to the right to get into the goods factory. The second one is going to the oil well north. So, my bad. My bad, that's okay, we have plenty of time. If I count properly, timer should be at around 30 minutes, less maybe. And the time limit is still 60 minutes, so we're not even halfway into our time limit for the bonus. So no need to rush, take it slow, just reverse through here. Um, yeah, that's okay. wanted to hear more of that chugging. I did it on purpose. <laughs> Does anyone believe that? I think by now you know all my antics already. Let's take it slow, because when you're going in reverse like this, it's more likely to derail. So maybe up to only 30 kilometers per hour, and even slower. Uh, this one, I guess, should be okay enough. Take it very slow, guys. So where are we now? In terms of the map... Yeah, okay. That looks good. So that's the second junction right there. When we reach the first junction, we should be... Yeah, this is the first junction we're just crossing. Yeah, so we should have gone there on that side. 
So we traced the tracks here where it merges with where we currently are. And that's where we should be branching off. Should be turning to the right. We put more water in there. And yes, I loaded a bit more coal again. Not the most efficient steam train driver. But it works somehow, so it's not that bad. Okay, let's start slowing down here. There's our signal. That's perfect. Let's move that to the right. Perfect. The cut-off wheel full forward, release the brakes, and push it. Love those sounds. Go dramatic. Alright, so from here, we refer to the station map. Push back on this. You only need the full forward or full back cut-off when you're starting from zero. It's a dead start. That's what I've been told and that's what I think makes sense. So the moment you start moving, pull back or push back on the cutoff wheel. Alright, so the station map says we're coming from the southwest. We pass through the the B section. Slow down here. Just want to coast through. section oh looks like we are not quite there yet a few more turns i guess so let's push it that's okay no need to load any cute any coal anymore are we not there yet oh okay yeah, there's a little bit of stretch before we actually enter the goods factory okay that's fine we can do that and this is a bit uphill so let's push a bit harder here be very wary of uh, wheel slip not hearing any squealing wheels though, so I guess we should be good. And I love that. I think here in this train, where's the piston? Over here? Two sides? On either side? Not so sure. That's what I saw in some videos. I'm not sure if it's the same here. Let's have a look. Okay, still good. Still chugging along. Okay, I think from there, we can just coast like this. 40 kilometers is not a problem. We should be passing through a, a flyover. And then we get into the goods factory. Should I load one more? Yeah, okay, fine. So just one more. I thought we wouldn't need it because I thought we were in the goods factory already. And now I'm starting to lose pressure and power as a consequence. <clears throat> Looking good. Right, let's let off on that. Let's let the steam build up again and just let the momentum take us forward in terms of the timer <laughs> not very efficient timer but I think we've uh, been traveling for around 30 minutes more or less if I started around the 12 and Oy, actually slowing down too much I didn't know this was uphill. Oh my goodness, load one more. And we pretty much need a lot of heat, so let's start the blower here. Increase the temperature of the firebox. Just a little bit of a boost. Okay, here. Uh, where are we going? 
that's station that's the B section so we keep to the right here actually we can go to the left as well but no this is fine keep to the right keep to the right so we go straight forward there that's fine So we are currently here, let me point it out to you. If you're someone like me who's having a hard time reading maps, you came from the southwest. We are in the B section now. We're going to go straight through. Just loop around like this. And then go onto D where we are supposed to park this thing. D5I to be specific. There we go. There we go. And here we keep left, that's fine. Because we want to go around the entire area. This one here is the passenger station. Passenger platform C. See the blue one there? I'm not sure how to enable that though. I mean, I, I saw in the trailer, you can actually unlock the crew vehicle. I know someone asked that in the comment section over here. Crew vehicle, locked. So I don't know how to unlock that because it would be nice to go on uh, passenger trains just enjoying the scenery. A bit of sightseeing. I don't think you get to drive the passenger train but I think you can get to ride on it. Not so sure what the mechanics are. How are we doing on time? Okay, I think it depends on the setting. One sec, let's try this. Trying to figure out how to change the option. So that's going forward. I don't know. And I'll have to read how to even perform that pocket watch properly. So keep left, keep left. Slow down here. Keep left, keep left. Right there it is. Coast along, let me find where D5i is. D5i, oh, everything is so small. Uh, ah, there it is, okay. So I have to actually. Quick, quick, quick. Oh, I can't even see it. Right, right there. And then left, right there. Is it the right one? No, that's the wrong one. No, that's the right one. Yes, D5i is this one. Yes, that should be good. So that's D4O, this is D5I, perfect. Yes, exactly. Ooh, lucky. Alright. Then we just coast here. Can drop down from the train now. Maybe not. Let's catch up to it. It's not a fairly long train, so should it be hard to get inside the entire stuff till it reaches the end there? Um, that's the last car. Should be close enough. And we looks like we are losing, starting to lose momentum here. One sec, let me catch up to the train. Oh, slow down. Don't hit that. Don't make a mistake. The last leg of the trip. No, 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 no. There you go. Should be plenty of space, no problem. Looking good. More brakes. And we are home. Not sure what the toots should be, but you get the point. Looking good, guys. Alright, final stretch. Let's go and let go of this. Um, lock those valves and release the hoses. Perfect. And now time to get our reward. So we are in station D. Should be going to section B. What, what do you call those B, D anyway? Section? Platform? I don't know. You get my point though. So this is B. Office should be right 
across uh, that one. Perfect. Let's go ahead and uh, give this. Where is my job here? There we go. Job well done. See? 38 minutes. Elapsed time. Bonus time is 61. Base payment is 17k. But we got an additional 8k bonus. No damage to e any of the trains nor the environment. So that's 25,700 all in all. Good job for us. No fees. That is interesting. Huh. How come? The train I'm driving, why don't you have any fees there? Huh, it might be a bug. Might be because I used the train spawner mod for that train, so it's not counted. Yikes. Maybe we shouldn't use that anymore. <laughs> anyway, alright. Well, we'll leave it there for now. If you have any suggestions on which, uh, on any of our future jobs you want to take, what kind, want to do more shunting, more steam train and stuff, let me know in the comments and looking forward to what you have to say. Hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Thanks for watching and uh, clumsy training and congrats to Plum again for winning the giveaway. Thanks, have a nice day and bye-bye. Catch you soon.